Today on Finding Props, we're going to go over scene setters. What a scene setter is, is it's a background for your scene to change the atmosphere of any room, any area that you may want to change for your haunt. And uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, you can find a scene setter any of your stores, um, tablecloths work, um, Halloween background backdrops, those work for you. Um, they actually sell scene setters. You can look them up, um, buy anything you want. The thing with scene setters is they're made out of plastic, and all plastics have a gloss. So if you were to have a light in the room, or if somebody were to take a picture, a selfie, a uh, walk through with a movie camera that has a light on it, you're going to have reflections on your scene setters. So the way you take care of that is that you would buy a clear coat in a flat matte finish and you would coat your entire scene with this flat mat. It just needs a light coating to remove the gloss from the background. And this will cause um, the background to be a dull finish so that if there is a flash or a light in the room, it will not reflect off of your scene and it'll give it more of a, a darker, deeper atmosphere without the, the false aspects of the flash, the light, the reflections, things like that. It'll give it more of a realistic feel. Um, the thing with the scene setters is they have to be flat. They have to be solid against something attached. Um, what you could use is like a thin piece of styrofoam insulation as this one's on. Um, another thing you can use is OSB board, paneling, anything that's flat, nice flat surface that you could glue it to. Uh, attach it to you could stretch it with some duct tape things like that. It's pretty basic really easy to do uh, If it gets damaged, it's a cheap prop to replace just peel it off Put another one over top of it. If you want to change your atmosphere, it's really easy um, This way to make the scene setters look even more dimensional This one's actually completely flat right now. It does have a good look with the bricks the shading and stuff with the bricks and this is a very cheap scene setter here um, so it's got a really good effect for how cheap it is but what you can do is you could take specifically with one like this you could take pieces of foam cut them measure and cut them for the shape of some of these bricks and you know take a razor cut them up a bit give them some depth paint them up and attach a few every now and then on this scene setter and it'll actually help give it more of a three-dimensional look. So if you're not looking 90 degrees at it, but you're looking at a different angle, you'll see some depth to the scene setter, which will actually give it a more realistic feel too. So it depends on your scene, location, how people are going to be passing by your scene, or if they're going to be just looking at it from a distance. Um, and it depends on how deep you want to go into your scene. So. Some cedars, scene setters work really well for a background, and then your atmosphere is caused by your props throughout the area. Other ones are like you would use for a hallway, and then you would want to add more depth to your scene to draw out the walls of the hallway to make them feel more included in the scene, a part of a realistic area. So it depends on your haunt or whatever you're putting together. but. Yes, this is just a basic scene setter. It's sort of uh, just plain plastic, really thin. Um, one of the things you can't do is heat it with a heat gun. It will not actually uh, shrink to your, your backing. So that's unfortunate, but stretching it works really well. The flat spray, I can't stress that enough. Use a flat spray uh, with matte finish. It works really well for taking off the gloss and you have a scene as easy as that. Piece of styrofoam board, scene setter attached, spray it down quick, make sure you have adequate ventilation, and uh, you're done. So that's your scene setter. Enjoy. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, share. Again, this is Panic Props. Thank you for watching.